Hello viewers, welcome to Jamjack channel. Before we begin, make sure to smash the like button in this video, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Let's get started. The GT9600-D, Gundam Leopard Destroy, is a mobile suit from the anime series After War Gundam X. It is piloted by Roy B. Lloyd. History. The Gundam Leopard Destroy was first fielded by the crew of the Freedom during their raid on a new type research facility operated by the new United Nations Earth. It engaged multiple new United Nations Earth units before the facility was destroyed and the Freedom left the area to conduct another operation. Later, the Gundam Leopard Destroy was briefly captured by the new United Nations Earth after the Freedom was destroyed, but was quickly recovered by the North American Resistance Force under the command of Karis Nautilus. The Gundam was returned to Roy B. Loy and became part of the mobile suit complement of the Freedom 2 as it took part in the Eighth Space War. Technology and Combat Characteristics When the GT9600 Gundam Leopard was heavily damaged in battle against the NRX-010 Gable, it was repaired and upgraded by Kid Salsamil with heavier firepower and a new paint job. The inner arm Gatling has been replaced by the twin beam cylinder, a pair of beam firearms that fold over both forearms when in use and are stored on the backpack when not in use. The missiles previously stored in the right shoulder was removed and replaced by a missile pod mounted to the side of the left shoulder. The suit also gained several other new weaponry and can still mount an optional missile pod on the lower left leg. The Leopard Destroy retained the set of rollers in its feet for high-speed movements on the ground, and also has the option of combining with the aft section of the GS9900G Falcon, granting it flight capability. Armaments Twin Beam Cylinder Gundam Leopard Destroy's main and most powerful weapon, replacing the destroyed inner arm Gatling. As implied by its name, the twin beam cylinder consisted of two cylinders, the one on the right has a four-barrel beam Gatling gun and three smaller beam guns, while the one on the left is equipped with beam cannons of various design. While smaller than the inner arm Gatling, each cylinder has comparable firepower, meaning that the twin beam cylinder have twice the firepower of the inner arm Gatling. Their smaller size also makes them easier to use. The twin beam cylinders are mounted on either side of the backpack with their barrels retracted when not in use. When deployed, they swing forward to cover the forearms and their barrels extend. Breast Gatling A pair of chest-mounted Gatling guns inherited from Gundam Leopard. Covered when not in use, they are effective in both close and long-range combat. Hornet Missile A pair of homing missiles stored within the knee armor. They are inherited from Gundam Leopard and are equipped with built-in infrared detection device, allowing them to automatically home in on their targets even in areas when radar are rendered useless. Head Beam Gun A pair of small beam guns mounted in the head. Beam Cannon A pair of beam cannons are jointly mounted on the right shoulder. They can rotate about their mount, giving them a wide range of fire. 11 Tube Missile Pod To improve the right shoulder's drive system, the shoulder missiles have been removed and as a replacement, a missile pod storing 11 missiles is attached to the side of the left shoulder. Wrist Beam Gun Designed for use in space, five beam guns, consisting of one large caliber gun and four small caliber guns, are jointly mounted on the right forearm. Due to their placement, the guns are unusable when the right beam cylinder is in use. Shoulder Launcher Two launchers are mounted on top of each shoulder. Whether they're shell firing or beam weapons depends on the source material. Beam Knife A small, Close combat beam weapon stored on the side of the right leg, inherited from Gundam Leopard. As it consumes less energy, it can be used for a long period of time. Separate Missile Pod An optional missile pod mounted on the side of the left leg that stores four medium-sized missiles, inherited from Gundam Leopard. Can be purged when required. Heat Axe An optional hatchet-shaped weapon for close combat which utilizes a superheated special alloy blade to melt and cut through enemy armor. It is stored on the left side skirt armor when not in use. Special Equipment and Features Flash System A special system dedicated to new types that appears in After War Gundam X. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you for watching.